Yo, what and how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Recap Corner Show. And Fairy Tale this week has actually done a lot of good and fun to actually kind of give us somebody who's actually who's possibly going to actually stand stand a chance against Rocky and virtually the only person who probably can stand up against them at this point point is in fact Sting because of course Sting is the light uh, is of course the light dragon slayer so so all of his like pure uh, say purification magic and all that other shit most likely it won't even work on him because say because again light shit kind of energizes him well if you know how dragon uh, how how dragon slayers work you know which actually kind of makes you think think why Wendy isn't you know necessarily the most busted one of say of them all especially since her shit is wind but getting off of that stuff we actually kind of look uh, take a peek into Natsu's history in this case of him slowly turning into E&D because nobody can really do anything to stop his um, to stop that uh, to stop the E&D growth because once Brandish made it big again it kind of it kind of lashed into his body so now nobody nobody can do anything to stop it so what's the real story story for Natsu which kind of makes which kind of throws a monkey wrench in everybody's ages so far or at least or at the very least the ages between Sting, Rogue, uh, Gadjo, Natsu, and also Wendy, and that is well, back when Natsu and Zerifor were with their parents, a dragon came, killed them, and of course, upon Natsu being being um, reborn and born, and all of them being with their dragon slay, um, uh, with their dragons and shit, Natsu and Gadjo are by far the oldest two. Wendy is somewhere, er, say she's either the middle or the youngest, and Sting and Rogue. Were um uh, are also under Natsu and Gadjul. However, when they came came into the future, this kind of like raises a few fucking questions because again, you look at it and it's like, well, the only real reason why why this might be confusing is because, well, it's a good chance that they all came to the future at very diff different different uh, at very different times because again, Sting and Rogue are or at least like that that they seem as those that they're older than Natsu and Gadjul. Especially since that they were frozen, uh, frozen for about seven years. So there's already that that little piece of information going on. And also, Wendy is still, I think she's still uh, still under the age of 15, technically. So you think about it, and it's like, well, well, either, uh, especially since she's possibly older, older than um, than both uh, than than both Sting and Rogue. Rogue, she's just like at, she's just a 12 year old or some shit like that, or a 12, 15 year old or some shit like that. But either way, it's kind of slowly starting to kind of fix itself, or at the very least, we kind of have a combatant for for Rakid who isn't going to bust him. But they're still trying to say that, or at least I'm still going off of the last chapter and chapter of them saying, well, the only person who might be able to hurt him is his mother. So that's also a possibility, but until then, that is what. <laughs> until then, that is what I have to say about that. I will catch you on the next John Grave show. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games, and I will see you on the next John Grave show. Thank you, makers of Ruby, for actually kind of showing me a, a little bit more of the other members. You know, because I'm actually kind of starting, man, to see Yang literally try, man, to get on with her life and her try to get over her PTSD of her losing her fucking arm and shit. And of course, her dad still being the greatest dad in the world, and getting her a brand new arm and shit, and putting it, or at least, or or at the very least, attempting to kind of bring this arm in for, for so that she can get back into her martial arts training and become who that say and uh, and become who she was before she got all mopey and shit. So 